Princess Anne and Prince Edward have been backed by Express.co.uk readers as worthy of deputising for King Charles III, a new poll has found. The Sovereign has initiated a new bill to allow the addition of his siblings as councillors of state and enable them to temporarily fulfil constitutional duties in his absence. Buckingham Palace has told the government that non-working members of the royal family will not be called upon to fulfil royal duties. This means that Prince Andrew and Prince Harry will no longer be able to stand in for the king. Instead, only working members of the firm will be expected to act as councillors of state. Councillors can deputise for the sovereign in their absence, due to ill health or travel abroad, and conduct some of their official duties. Members of the House of Lords were told on Monday, November 21, by the Lord Privy Seal that this measure will act as a practical solution and safeguard to ensure that the machinery of government can continue. Peers met to debate the new councillors of state bill, which would allow two more stand-ins, Anne and Edward, added to widen the pool of royals eligible to conduct official duties for the sovereign. Under the 1937 Regency Act, the Councillor of State positions were reserved for the sovereign spouse and the next four members of the royal family in line to the throne aged over 21, regardless of their status. This means the King's councillors are his Queen Consort Camilla, Prince William and nine working royals Andrew, Harry, and Princess Beatrice. In a poll that ran from 1 p.m. on Tuesday, November 15, to 7.30 a.m. on Tuesday, November 22, Express.co.uk asked readers, who do you think should deputise for King Charles? In total, 20,573 votes were cast by 7,657 readers each selecting up to four councillors from the list. Overall, Anne was the most favourable, with 35% of votes cast, 7,118 people, followed by William, with 31%, 6,407 people. A further 29%, 5,916 people, voted in favor Edward and 3%, 745 people, backed Beatrice. Non-working royals Harry and Andrew each received 1% of the vote with 213 and 174 people backing them respectively. In the comments left below the accompanying article, hundreds of readers shared their thoughts on who should be councillor of state. Many readers praised the Princess Royal for her dedication to the firm, with username Raby describing her as a safe pair of dependable hands for Charles to rely on. Username Dunham12 wrote, Princess Anne has proved herself a loyal, dependable and consistent worker. That's my idea of a stand-in. Username Citizen51 remarked, The answer to this is simple, it's Her Royal Highness, Princess Anne. A highly capable and driven individual who will take the role in her stride, she truly is her mother's daughter. And username 193744 said, My choice is Princess Anne. She would be great and has lots of knowledge learned from Her Majesty. Meanwhile, some readers showed support for the Prince of Wales in their comments, with username Sarah May writing, There is only one obvious answer, Prince William, he is the only one being prepared for kingship. Another. Username KitHiCat100, said, Given the roles they play in supporting the king, I would say Prince William, Princess Anne, and Prince Edward. Similarly, username Marzipan said, Princess Anne, Prince William, and Prince Edward. And username Don5651 added, I chose William, Anne, and Edward, keeping in mind that,